Did I do... Yes. Sorry, I'll bring these back up here. Did he magically create more candy bar? Like, that's a candy bar, right? And it had three pieces, but now suddenly it's got six? Did he just create more? Avery? Oh, bingo. Okay. What if I... Whoa, crazy man. Man, don't you dare. What fraction do I have now? How many shaded parts? How many other parts are there at all? Kendra. Two. Um, More than two there, kiddo. Oh, um, four, um, 12, 16. Yeah, good job. Excellent. Once again, so does that, and maybe I should have done that on day one, does that kind of help us see how all these fractions are talking about the exact same amount? They're equivalent. The same value, we're just changing the way it's represented or the way it's shown. Thumb, uh, let's do fist to five. This would be Mr. Adamson. This is making a lot of sense. I'm getting the hang of it. Uh, so, so. And be honest. I'm kind of confused. Mr. Adamson, what are you talking about? What's a fraction? So, give me a fist to five. I'm not going to judge you. And we can't help you if you don't be no. honest with us. Yep. yep. Okay. Awesome. So, if we're not quite there yet, that's why we're here. We're going to help you along the way. Any questions about these two ideas? Using a multiplication chart, using a fraction bar, and just splitting it into new parts. So far, so good? Okay, we're going to do a review <coughs> session right now. So if you could please get out your math boards and a marker. Either one, because we're actually we're not going to use the we're going to use the open side, not the bar side.